Hello everyone and welcome to Jump Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC for do everything DIY. And in today's video, we are working on a walk-in refrigerator and we're gonna be replacing this thermostat. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jump Man Tech. Today we're gonna be replacing this thermostat with a new one. First things first, we're gonna to wanna to shut the power off to our system. All right, we just turned off the breakers. Let's make sure that the fans turned off. The condensing unit is already off. All right, everything is now off and now we can begin in this area. All right, so here's our thermostat here. There's one screw that we're gonna now take off so we can take off the cover. All right, so here's our control. If anyone is interested, I did make a video on how to check this exact control, how to check a refrigerator thermostat. Also, I checked it with the power off and power on, so definitely check that out when you can. So let's see, we got two 5 16 screws holding this up. If we follow this little capillary tube, this is our sensing bulb. So we have a few straps here that's holding that up, sensing the temperature, and we have two screws holding this up and two wires. All right, I'm gonna begin by taking apart this sensing bulb. All right, I'm gonna reuse these two little brackets. If anyone is wondering why am I changing this control, it is because it is slightly off as far as accuracy. It does work, but it is not accurate anymore. And it's time to change. Look at how, you know, rusted this piece got here. Maybe that plays a role. But anyways, if you'd like, it would be a good idea to take a quick picture of the wiring as the wiring is gonna be the same for the new control. This basically is a little switch controlled by temperature. That's basically how it works. So I'm gonna start by taking off the wires and loosening it up from our control. All right, white on top, black on the bottom. If you guys notice that the wireless, the solderless connectors are like rusty, I definitely recommend that you replace those. Make sure you have a good connection. So those two are loose. Then I have this little connector here, and that's what's holding the wiring in place. So let's see. Let's see if we can pull the wires out. Okay, there we go. We do have this connector that I would like to reuse, but here's our wires, and this control is pretty much free. just two screws holding it from here. Voila. So the control did have one of these connectors, but there's not one coming out of here. So I'm gonna install one of these in here and one in the control. All right, so I opened up the side cover to get access here. We do have slack on this, so let's go ahead and feed the wire through, lock this down here, and then begin by mounting our new thermostat. All right, so here's our new thermostat. I'm gonna take off the front cover the same way as we took off the other one. And I'm just gonna prep it with the connector on the bottom. So I can run the wires in professionally. Here's a little connector. Put it in. And then lock it down. From here, I'm just gonna run the wires in so I can find a good position to mount this new control. All right, so the control is now mounted. Now I'm just gonna close these up. These are for the connectors for this wire, just so everything is nice and in place. Honestly, that looks so much better. All right, controls mounted, wires are secure. I'm gonna loosen these terminals here and just wire this one the same way the first one was wired. Just gonna make my connections and tighten them down. All right, the connections are nice and tight. You can put the cover back on 
and then tighten down our locking screw. The new thermostat is looking great. From here, we just need to mount our sensing bulb, and I'm pretty much just gonna follow the same route as the other one. You do want the sensing bulb closer to the return air, so you have an accurate reading. All right, all right. Now that is a beautiful thing right there. All right, so from here, we're gonna set the thermostat. Did just hear a click. Set it to 40. And we're gonna start the system and see what happens. If we look at this box thermometer, if we pay attention to the green here, between 35 and 40 degrees is where we wanna be. All right, we're in the green. Pretty much we want it to cycle between 35 and 40 degrees. And that's pretty much it. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.